Hi there. Today you're going to do a lab that answers the question, how does temperature affect solubility? Now before you do the lab, I want you to do one thing first. Take a small amount of water and pour salt in gradually until no more salt dissolves. Then go to your lab guide and read the material before you do the experiment. For this experiment, read the lab guide directions carefully. Now you're going to need the following materials. An ice cube tray, water, a graduated cylinder, a small clear container, a thermometer, sugar, a half teaspoon measuring spoon, a wooden or plastic spoon for stirring, and a stopwatch. Now if you do not have a thermometer, just estimate temperatures. For instance, cold water is about 10 degrees, warm water is about 40, ice cold water is close to zero, and hot water is about 60, and this is all degrees Celsius. Before you get started, print out the data table from your lab report that shows two columns. First column is water temperature, and the second column is the amount of sugar that you put into the water. For step two of the procedure, heat up some water to about 60 degrees Celsius, pour it into the small container, put the thermometer in the water, and record the temperature. Write it down in the data table. Next, add one half teaspoon of sugar to the container. Stir with a clean spoon for 20 seconds. Repeat this step until no more sugar dissolves. Record the total amount of sugar in the data table to the nearest one half teaspoon. Remember, do not count the last half teaspoon because not all of that sugar dissolved. Pour out the water, rinse and dry the container teaspoon and spoon. Repeat steps two through four with warm water at about 40 degrees Celsius, cold water at about 10 degrees Celsius, and ice cold water at about zero degrees Celsius. Use ice cubes to lower the water temperature as needed. And remember, if you do not have a thermometer, just estimate those temperatures and record those estimates in the data table. For your analysis, plot temperature against dissolved sugar in a graph. Compare your results with your hypothesis. Then, use your graph and data to extrapolate how much sugar will dissolve in boiling water at 100 degrees Celsius. Now, here are two things to remember. For each amount of sugar that you add, stir for only 20 seconds. And when you record your data in your data table, remember one half teaspoon equals 2.5 milliliters of sugar. Record your data in milliliters in your table. 